right, gospel star Anthony Brown was one of the folks that we, we talked to at a previous Essence Festival, and so uh, here is this Essence Festival throwback presented by Coca-Cola. Anthony, how you doing? I'm doing amazing, man. Now, is your first Essence? This is my third Essence. Your third yes, Essence. Yes, I've done Essence at least two more times, performing as well and, and just hanging out. It's the best conference, man, for a lot of black people. Right. Whole bunch of black people. Well, and that's why, so I always <laughs> start with that question because yeah. it's always a different reaction for people who are new. Got you, got you, got you. Versus those who are vets. Yes, sir. Who've been here multiple times. Absolutely. So so what, what out of all the things that you do, other events that you do, other major events, what, what separates this from any of those? Man, you know what? Black culture is so diverse. When you come to Essence, you get to see a little bit of everything. I mean, we come in every shade. We act every kind of way. To me, that's beautiful. You walk through the, um, to the convention center here, the Great Hall here, you see everything, man. But I love it. I love my people. So it's just, that's what makes it different to me. But also, I think what's important, and, and, and my staff will tell you, I do this. Yes, sir. Uh, I cannot stand coming here in seclusion. Wow. Meaning right. you're in the VIP areas, you're in the, here in the interview room. Absolutely. I tell them, no, every year that you we're come. walking the stage, I we're walking it. the floor. I we, love it. We're going to be with people, seeing people, yeah. touching people, taking photos. I hop on different stages. Like, I'll hop on a four stage. Just for no reason. I'll just, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday they, 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 were, they were DJing in Coca-Cola. I jumped right in the middle of Absolutely. their floor. Uh, That's I'll, what I'll I just love roll up it. on the AARP stage. So you like me. Like I mean, I don't want to just be confined somewhere. No, I want to be out there with the people on Bourbon Street, walking up and down, and they throwing beads and all of that. Man, I love it. It's crazy. Absolutely. <laughs> it's crazy. So uh, what music uh, you got uh, folks uh, jumping up and down with right Man, now? Man, you know what? We are excited. Next month, July 28th, we drop a new project called Long Way From Sunday. Probably my most introspective work. Um, you know, you've always, and News One is always, you've always made sure that gospel music had a place. You know what I mean? We appreciate that, that you allow us to shine the way you do. I've been on your show there in D.C. You right in my backyard. You done preached at my church, First Baptist <laughs> Church in Glendale. Yes, Shout out yes, Pastor yes, Jenkins. Indeed. You know what I mean? So, so you always make sure that we have a place. And so I think that it's important um, to have that and to do that music so that people can have their inspiration. I mean, everybody else is doing what they feel like inspires them. What I do is talk about Jesus because that's what inspires me. Mm -hmm. So July... 28th, a long way from Sunday. That's what we got going on. Brand new project. So what is uh, a long way from Sunday? Ooh, glad you asked. A long way from Sunday to me is what most people who don't know our black church culture, that's what they feel. Sunday symbolizes the day that we all come together. You know, we fellowship. We know the culture. We do it every week. But there are a lot of people out there who don't know our culture, who don't understand what it's like, and so they feel a long way from Sunday. And then there are others who, like myself, go to church every Sunday, are very familiar, but you know better than I do. You know, as soon as you get in the car from church on Sunday night, as soon as you get up, wake up on Monday morning, you are already a long way from getting mm -hmm. back to that feeling again. Mm -hmm. So the songs on this project really are about trying to inspire those who do it all the time and those who may not understand it at all, that we really need to bridge that gap and show that everybody's out here struggling just trying to find a way to make it. That's what this all project right. is all about. A long way from Sunday. A Got long way from Sunday. July 28th. July 28th. All right, man. Always good to see us. He representing the Washington Nationals. Absolutely, man. I got you. Washington Nationals on my hat and actually my clothing line on my shirt, man. Well, see, if I, I love would, mercy, if mercy. If I wasn't suited and booted, I would have my uh, best record in Major League Baseball, Houston Astros. What? So <laughs> Listen, you in D.C. now, man. No, I'm from Houston. Okay, fine. I live there, <laughs> but I'm from Houston. All right, all right, all I right. I, I don't do no, I only, only hometown. We're going to get your Nationals hat anyway, just to make sure you, you have happen. it. ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Unless it's blue and orange. So you Houston all day. And a star. All right, fine. Rolling this <laughs> Houston all day. Yeah, I went to, when we were in the National League, I went to the Nationals Park in my Astros gear. Did you really? You yes, bold. Yes, I did. I ain't scared. You real bold. I ain't scared. <laughs> Y'all rolling bold, man, but we still going to get him a little red. He need a little, a little Washington Nationals. He right in our backyard. Don't mean nothing. Houston Astros, best oh record in Major League good. Baseball. Oh, my goodness. Here First we go. Place. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate oh, it, man. man. Always good so seeing much. you. Yes, I sir. appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, folks, don't forget uh, the Essence Virtual Festival. June 26th, June 27th. Panels beginning at 2 p.m. Concerts beginning at 6 p.m.